time is 2 o'clock. Good afternoon. Here is the news update. Southwest APC leaders, including national leader Ashiwa Jubala Tinobu, say they have resolved their differences and are now united to move the region forward. One of the party's founding fathers, Arumo Ulusheku Oshoba, who addressed newsmen at the end of the more than four-hour meeting in Ibado, says that all issues have been resolved to ensure good governance in the interest of the country. Oshoba, a former Ogun state governor, explains that Southwest APC will now harmonize issues for the development of the region. All of the resolved issues, according to Oshoba, will be taken to Abuja with the support of members of the National Assembly and state governors from the Southwest region. The meeting was attended by all APC state governors, former governors, National Assembly leaders, members of the Federal Executive Council from the region, as well as the former interim national chairman, Chief B.C. Akundi, and the Information and Culture Minister, Alhajilai Mohammed. The Sultan of Sokoto, Alhaji Sahad Abubakar, has blamed the continued violence in the southern Kaduna on forces bent on writing the religious history of Kaduna State. The Sultan, in a statement by the Administrative Secretary of the Nigerian Supreme Council on Islamic Affairs, Ustaz Christian Okonko, says the forces behind the endless killings, particularly in southern Kaduna, are faceless. The Sultan, who is the president of NSCIA, cautioned against acts and utterances capable of escalating the violence in the southern Kaduna by elements within and outside the area. The elements, according to him, are trying to give the impression that Islam had no contact with that part of the country. Such approach to the history of Kaduna state, according to the Sultan, are based on amnesia and was partly responsible for the recurring violence in southern Kaduna. For a lasting peace in southern Kaduna, the Sultan asked the Kaduna state government to set up a truce and reconciliation committee while calling for the payment of adequate compensation and rehabilitation of all the victims of the April 2012 post presidential polls in southern Kaduna. Two persons have been killed in an auto crash along Uru Agoiwui Highway in Ogun State. The multiple accidents involved three trucks one of which was loaded with granite. Spokesman of the State Traffic Enforcement and Compliance Corps, Trace, Commander Babatunde Akimbi, who made this known to Rock City FM, blamed the accident on overspeeding. He says that officers of Trace and police were immediately deployed to rescue those involved in the auto crash. In foreign, India has rejected a request from Kenya to hire Indian doctors to address the ongoing crisis in its health sector, which has been paralyzed by a strike. India's Telegraph newspaper reports that Indian officials said the country was not comfortable sending its health workers as it did not want to antagonize Kenyans, the Telegraph says. If a deal had been struck, the Indian doctors would have been offered $1,900 a month for their services. Kenyan doctors working in public hospitals have been striking for more than a, four, a, month, a month, insisting that the government honor a 2013 deal to improve their pay and working conditions. Currently, an entry-level doctor earns $380 a month. Last week, Kenyan doctors rejected a pay deal offered by the government that would have raised the entry-level pay to $1,895 a month, saying it did not match the 2013 deal. In sport, the draw for the 2019 African Nations Cup AFCON qualifiers was made in Libreville, Gabon on Thursday, with Nigeria drawn along with South Africa, Libya and the Seychelles. In the preliminary round, Sao Tome and Principe vs. Madagascar, Comos Rose, the island vs. Mauritius, Djibouti vs. South Sudan will play two legs in match. All the national teams in 12 groups will start their hostilities in June and continue on international match days in March, September, October, and November 2018. That was the news update. I am Senior Abayo. Good afternoon and thank you for listening.